everyone, Joel Lance here. And today we're in Toronto, Ontario. That's right, guys, back in Toronto. It's been a little while since I've been here. So, though it's good to be in Toronto, today we're at the Bulgur. Bull, bull, not to, be, not to be confused with burger, the Bulgur. So, here we are to eat Toronto's biggest burger challenge. That's right, this is an insane burger challenge, everybody. This is, in fact, the biggest burger challenge I've ever attempted. So, this is absolutely insane. This should be a lot of fun. So, essentially, guys, you're gonna have one hour to eat what is undoubtedly a giant, giant, giant burger. So we're gonna have one hour to eat a giant, giant, giant burger consisting of 132 ounces of beef. Which is insane, it's almost 10 pounds of beef alone, plus a massive bun, all the veggies. It's actually like five burgers total, as it's like a giant burger with an additional burger on top and three double burgers in between. So wish me luck, this is going to really push me People ask to push me. Guys, I get pushed all the time and this is just stupid levels of pushing. Like these are things I don't even, I don't know. I, I, I Will I finish? I don't know. Well, let's head on in, let's see what we can do guys. Should be a lot of fun. Let's go eat some food. The Bulgur, the biggest burger in Toronto. Let's have some fun. All right everyone, here we are. Toronto's biggest burger. This thing is insane, absolutely insane. Oh my gosh, it is hella, hella heavy. So what we have going on here, not only do we have massive buns, then with three 30 ounce patties, but then we have an additional three do double, like two patty burgers in here, plus lettuce, plus tomatoes, plus pickles. The burgers in here are fully dressed, mushrooms, onions, cheese, sauces. We then have an additional burger on top, the biggest burger I've ever attempted to eat in my life, and this thing is absolutely crazy. So there's only one way to do it, and that's to do it. So let's get started here, guys. This is actually, I guess, five burgers in one. Absolutely huge, so uh, let's get rolling. Luckily, I do got my friend Mr. Ketchup here. Um, I don't even know where to put the ketchup. Here we go, get myself a good pile going right here. Definitely a necessity, you know I love ketchup. You've been following me for a while. And that, everybody, Toronto's biggest burger here at Bulger. Let's get started. We'll say the count of five, four, three, two, oh, wish me luck. One, uh, I think I'm gonna start with the big patties. So let's say one, oh my gosh, that is a, that is a heavy bun, and uh, let's go. Mm. Lots of food. That's a very nice juicy burger. That's a nice pepper jack cheese. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Bulger eating what is Toronto's biggest burger and it really was a huge, huge, huge burger. So as we mentioned, this thing was just five burgers, yeah, just five burgers. No, seriously, this thing was five burgers being one massive burger, three big burgers, and one, well, normal size burger. So literally burgers on burgers on burgers, but this thing nonetheless comprised was just absolutely, like it was just insanity the size of this burger. That's cool. The buns are all like branded. With a bowl. With a brand. That's cool, I like that. All right. Whew. Almost done the uh, second of the big patties. Which means we're like 60 ounces of beef ale. That's insane, that's like four pounds. 
So we had one hour to complete this burger to complete the challenge and I tell you I knew this was going to be a rough one going in. So we had literally like 8 pounds of beef, like 132 ounces of beef, which was insane itself. Woo! Meat. There's going to be some meat sweats today. Wow, this is huge. This is still remaining nice and warm as well. So here's one of the double burgers. It's insane, guys. We've got beef bacon, all the mushrooms, cheese, sauces. Oh, wow. That's flavorful. That's a hell of a burger. Even this alone is huge. In which you had the three 30 ounce patties, then you had six six ounce patties on all the double burgers, and then you had one single six ounce patty. Um, all they are, all of them like were weighed, are weighed, so undoubtedly, you know, it was legitimate. And I appreciate the validity and the legitimacy of them kind of weighing at least all the meats out, that's for sure. Got some chipotle sauce in there, I can taste. Lots of cheese. The large bun must have at least weighed two pounds by itself, and then we had the additional four buns comprising uh, the, that of which the small burgers had. So I would definitely say a good three pounds of bread. You guys want real challenges? This is a freaking real challenge right here. Look at the size of that. That's insane. There are three of those on there. That's crazy. Good burger. Then the three double burgers were fully dressed, which had a load of toppings, not to mention all the toppings on the big burger uh, veggies as well. Ugh. Ugh. Just under the pants. Need to happen. Get this other camera rolling right here. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, let me adjust it. Oh. There we go, that's better. Now when it came to cheese, there was just cheese on cheese on cheese, absolute loads of cheese. Um, lots of sauces as well. They had a chipotle sauce. They had like a bulgur sauce, which is all really good. Um, so I like the sauces, that's for sure. And of course I had my friend, Mr. Ketchup, which I do indeed love ketchup. Coming on nine minutes in. I just got all the little, or the three dough burgers down. Still have the buns, all the dressings, then the full other uh, 30 ounce patty and the burger on top. It's a lot of food. This is insane. Good thing I like burgers. Well, and they really double cheese this second patty. Look at that. Look at all the cheese on that, folks. Look at all that. There's a lot there. Hoping this bottom bun will be extra juicy, though. From the copious amounts of juicy beef and burgers that have been sitting and soaking into it. Ooh. All right. Let's get rolling. So with everything, I guess you could say the odds were stacked against me, and that's no pun intended. At least the burger was stacked against me. And like, this thing was stacked high. Very, very, very high, in fact. Um, I will say, so the bun was very interesting. It was kind of like a focaccia bread for the big bun. Um, it had some, definitely some flavors to it, maybe a little bit of rosemary, something going on in there, but it was very, very dense and quite heavy. I see why it's trying to make this burger. This thing is huge. And I don't just mean the bread was very heavy in the weight wise it was, but it just had a heavy mouthfeel. Then the little buns, um, kind of more like a potato bun, you know, which was a very, a very nice, enjoyable bun that you would enjoy on a burger. Um, so all the little burgers were well created with those little branded buns. I knew I'd go through this bottle of ketchup. And it's true. I did. I literally went through like pretty much a full bottle of ketchup by this point alone, which I knew I would. I do like ketchup. I use it not only for flavor, but also as a tool. It adds lubricity. It helps you get the food down. And when there's that much of it, a nice flavor change. 
So I got burger, a little burger, and the buns, and the veggies. Oh. About 14 minutes and right on the dot. Let's take this die coke. Kick it into gear. And get started. This is gonna be a ride. Oh. The patties themselves had like a pretty, I'd call it traditional spice. It was like pretty much, it seemed like salt and pepper, um, but no complaints. I mean, it was a solid tasting burger at that. Of course, when you're having something so big, an item this large, uh, you know, sometimes the flavors are a little different compared to that if you're having a little burger, but it was still good nonetheless, even at a size of this Toronto's biggest burger. So, top down, this thing is. Heavy. See the weight of that? It's like a trampoline. Top one, then the bottom one. I hope the bottom one will be a little easier since it's uh, like juicier, had some more absorption. This is a dense bread. There we go. Oh, having a hard time burping, guys. There we go, coming out of town. This location of Bulger was the original location, which was in uh, on Danforth, in the on Danforth and Danforth Ave, um, in that part of Toronto. And then they have a location, a new location downtown. Um, the overall menu itself was pretty interesting. So like the uh, burgers that I got to try, the double burgers were essentially, I believe, what they call like a Red Bull or similar to a Red Bull, or maybe more just like a double cheeseburger. But like I said, lots of toppings, fully dressed. A lot of their burgers on the menu were just like load it with everything i mean like we're talking portobello mushrooms you're talking cheese all that stuff um it was halal as well so there was no pork products used so and obviously everything was uh, you know there were halal certified meats so your beef and your beef bacon it was beef bacon not pork bacon um so you know if you are halal or you follow any of those guidelines uh, i mean this is a place which is um, very suitable for you i guess you could say um, and overall, like I said, solid place. All right, about 20 and a half minutes in. Oh, this is big. Real big. So 20 minutes in, I was already feeling it. We were feeling it really hard. I mean, we had like eight pounds of beef in us. We had the buns, the little, like the little things comprising the smaller burgers. And I knew this was going to be a ride all the way from the start. Eating is not a linear thing, so what that means is like you start at a certain speed, there is no way you can maintain it. Because as you eat more, uh, as you fill up, your body wants you to stop. Your body doesn't want you to keep eating. This is very mentally taxing. It's very uh, difficult to not only train your body for the ability to hold this much food, but your mind to be able to keep pushing despite having the many, many signals of telling your body not to eat. Your body will start actually initiating defense mechanisms telling you not to eat, such as reducing your saliva. Like you'll stop producing saliva, so you have to use more liquids, you have to drink more. You will uh, have your eyes run, your nose run. Um, your body basically will just do anything to get you to stop eating, um, which is, it's, it's fascinating, but in the moment, it's also kind of frustrating and doesn't help you trying to eat. All right. Woo. Big. Kicking my butt. That big. All right, lettuce. Oh. Buns. But with everyone, I think that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. Again, absolutely massive, giant burger. Not one which should be taken lightly. Um, not even sure if I'm going to finish it at this point. Like I said, it was getting increasingly difficult. I was really starting to die. I think you can visibly see it. I also couldn't burp. I was having a really hard time getting air out of me, so I felt even more full. It just made everything a lot more difficult. But overall, like I said, solid tasting food. Um, everything was cooked pretty well. And uh, overall, no complaints in that regard as well uh, as far as quality of food. Still can't burp, but uh, it'll come eventually. Probably like 20, I don't know, 28 minutes, something like that. Uh, just this last button, y'all. We're gonna get this done. Oh, but it's a big one. We'll get it done. I have faith. 
But everyone, as I leave you to enjoy the rest of the video, first off, if you watch to this point, I want to thank you so much. But let's play one of our tricks on the skippers. I really appreciate you guys. This is always so funny. So comment, oh my god, look at that butt. We're talking about the bull's butt in the wall, of course. But comment down below, oh my god, look at that butt, and I'll let you get to the rest of the video. <laughs> Did you really finish? Oh, man. I'm on, I'm on way. <laughs> Probably about 34-ish minutes. <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken. Man, I need Daiko. Excuse me. I do see the light. I do see the end. Ah. And I see a lot of bread. I think that is. Well, I feel bad. I really got a burp, but it's just not coming out. got some air out. Oh boy. I don't know how far we are in, but last bit of bread. Oh man. Hell of a burger. Hell of a burger. Oh. Definitely the biggest I've seen, biggest I've ever tried to eat. It's insane. Oh, 
All right, we are done. Holy crap. That's a hell of a burger. I'll tell you that right there. Woo, hell of a challenge. All I can say is Toronto's biggest burger is huge, guys. Now, they've definitely raised the stakes here at Bulgur. A huge thanks to staff here at Bulgur, guys. It was good food. I had a great experience. The staff are very friendly, very accommodating. Um, I have no complaints. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, smash that like button, guys. Really appreciate it. Let's rack the likes up on this video. It definitely helps keep me motivated. Helps keep me, uh, let's say, inspired and chasing these crazy, crazy, crazy videos. I almost swore there. Uh, these crazy videos. So, guys, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Share the love. Let me know down below what you think of this burger. Ooh, it is a big one. It is a damn, damn, damn big one. But thank you again, guys. Really appreciate you. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't have, I don't have as big a burger as I do. Definitely come get a burger, but not this big. This thing is insane. So, till next time, everybody. Stay happy, healthy, hungry. Happy eating, of course. Have a lovely day. I can't, I don't think I can eat. Well, there you go. I was gonna say I don't know if I can walk, but there you go. I, you got it, you got it. Here, we'll do it appropriately. So, until next time, everybody. Have a lovely day. Dang now the cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.